They sent me a salwar kameez, peacock blue, and another glistening like an orange split open. Embossed slippers, gold and black points curling. Candy striped glass bangles, snapped true blood. Like at school, fashions changed in Pakistan. The salwar bottoms were broad and stiff, then narrow. My aunts chose an apple green sari, silver bordered, for my teens. I tried each satin silken top, was alien in the sitting room, could never be as lovely as those clothes. I longed for denim and corduroy. My costume clung to me and I was aflame. I couldn't rise up out of its fire. Half English, unlike Aunt Jamila. I wanted my parents' camel skin lamp, switching it on in my bedroom to consider the cruelty and the transformation from camel to shade. Marvel at the colours like stained glass. My mother cherished her jewellery, Indian gold dangling filigree, but it was stolen from our car. The presents were radiant in my wardrobe. My aunts requested cardigans from Marks and Spencers. My salwar kameez didn't impress a school friend who sat on my bed, asked to see my weekend clothes. But often I admired the mirror work, tried to glimpse myself in the miniature glass circles, recall a story, how the three of us sailed to England. Prickly heat had me screaming on the way. I ended up in a cot in my English grandmother's dining room, found myself alone, playing with a tin boat. I pictured my birthplace from 50s photographs. When I was older, there was conflict, a fractured land throbbing through newsprint. Sometimes I saw Lahore, my aunts in shaded rooms, screened from male visitors, sorting presents, wrapping them in tissue. Oh, there were beggars, sweeper girls, and I was there, of no fixed nationality, staring through the fretwork at the Shalimar Gardens.